frog stretch, pals, and rails. Let's do this one together. Follow along in the video. Step one, find a frog position. So that means your knees are out wide, your feet are flat on the floor. They should look like that, so that your heels are directly behind your knees. All right. Toes should be pointed out. You should feel a stretch in your inner thighs. Once you get to that position, you can go down onto your forearms. You can rock forward or backward, depending on where you feel the most stretch. All right. I start at my watch. We're going to hold this stretch position for two minutes. <clears throat> Try to relax in this position. Breathe. Just allow the floor to stretch your groin and inner thigh area. All right. In about 90 seconds here, we're going to start our PALS contraction. That stands for progressive angular isometric load. All right. What this means is that we are going to squeeze our inner thigh muscles, driving our knees into the floor, thinking about sliding our knees together, such as closing a book, but the floor is not going to allow for any movement. All right. We are going to slowly ramp up the amount of pressure that we're using to drive our knees into the floor over the course of 10 seconds. We'll be at maximum pressure at our 10th second and then hold that maximum pressure for another 10 seconds. After that, we will relax completely and we will actually then start to try to pull our knees off of the floor by squeezing our outer thigh muscles. That will be the rails contraction, the regressive angular isometric load. <clears throat> and we will do that for about 15 seconds. All right. Follow along with me. Let's start our pales contraction. So slowly start breathing, squeezing your inner thigh muscles, pressing your knees into the floor. You should be about 10% maximum pressure. 20% maximum pressure, 30%, 40%. Keep breathing, keep squeezing those inner thighs like you're trying to pull your knees together but the floor is not allowing it. 60%, 70, 80%, 90%, 100% maximum pressure, squeezing those knees together as hard as you can, squeezing those inner thigh muscles, driving your elbows to the floor to allow for some more force, more pressure for five, four, breathe, three, two, one, relax. Try now to lift the knees up off the floor, knees and feet up off the floor, squeezing the outer hip musculature. Another way to think about this is getting your groin closer to the floor. Keep trying to lift out and open like you're trying to open the book. That is your knees. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Complete relaxation, but don't move out of this position. I want you to try to spread those knees a little bit further. You should have gotten more range of motion. We're now gonna hold our final passive stretch for one more minute. So basically what we did there is we held a stretch for two minutes. We squeezed the inner thighs for around 20 seconds. Then we squeezed the outer thighs for around 10 to 15 seconds, which afforded us more range of motion in our hips. And then we're holding this new range of motion in a passive stretch for about another minute. Remember to slowly ramp up the pressure of the pales contraction. <clears throat> you will get the hang of it if you didn't feel much this time. The more that you do this, the more that you will feel. In your passive uh, stretching, make sure you breathe and just try to relax into the position. In your active 
Make sure that you're driving your elbows into the floor or your hands into the floor, depending on what position you're in. The easiest way to get out of this is to rock forward until you're down on your stomach. Bring your legs together. Your hips might feel funny. Give them a second to work themselves out. That is frog stretch, pals and rails contraction.